Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stella in Singapore. Hey. So I have been disappeared for another two months again. At first I thought I can upload one video once a week, but at the end I was busy with my study, CCA and volunteering. So I didn't have time to record the video or edit in a video. So mm, that's why I disappeared for two months again. And yeah, uh, last week I just finished my exam final exam uh, so however during these five days i have another other things to set up first so i just uploaded the garden spider bay video last week i hope you guys enjoyed that so today i have a free time so the information sharing video come back again so as i mentioned earlier i just finished my exam so this video is about year two semester one biomedical science in republic polytechnic I believe that some of you guys have to apply polytechnic soon and you have to decide uh, which course are you taking. So by this video, I hope you guys get more insight uh, about how biomedical science is like in Republic Polytechnic. And for those year when in Republic Polytechnic, you guys can uh, understand which track you guys have to choose, like either research track or medical technology track. Um, however, in year two semester one, there is only one module difference between these two tracks. So this video will be mainly focused on research because I'm in research track. And so I will just talk about which modules I learned and you guys can see that whether you were interested in these modules or not for those who are considering biomedical science. Mm, so in year two semester one we learn about five modules so it's like very much different from the year one if i remember correctly in year one semester one uh, i have recorded that video earlier so you guys can check it out but i will just briefly say that in year one semester one we just learn like the general modules so they are like less related to biomedical science and then in year one semester two we learn about three modules related to the biomedical science and other general modules. So for these three modules, um, microbiology and then molecular cell biology and biochemistry, they are quite interesting. And then in year two semester when we started to learn five modules. So it's like more contact heavy and you have to invest more of your time in your study because there are much information that you have to know and Although you don't have to memorize because you know guys know that the RP got the open book exam and sometimes you just don't know where to find the answer but it's fine. You just need to understand the concept. So in year two semester one, the five modules we learn are um, genetics, techniques in molecular biology, medical microbiology, uh, immunology, and then anatomy and physiology uh, actually the anatomy and physiology should be the year one module but they changed it to the year two module i don't know why so this module is like a bit easier than the rest and then uh, techniques in molecular biology it is specific for the uh, research track so for those who are choosing medical micro sorry medical technology track they can choose it as a selective module in year three so what do we learn in these modules so for those who are considering which track should i choose but most of the seniors say like if you are interested more in molecular cell biology you should choose the research track and then if you are interested more in microbiology you can choose the medical technology but i wouldn't say that based on one module and you should choose what you are interested in but mm, but you can consider about it so for molecular cell biology it's more about dna RNA, and protein obviously for microbiology it was about the agar play and then you can observe the color changes so it's like uh, for molecular cell biology you cannot see anything because dna RNA are like molecule so you cannot see for if you are the person like you want to see the changes because the agar play if you capture the bacteria the next day you can see the result and then you can see the color changes so it's like more obvious result 
but I'm not quite sure yet because I just finished my year two semester one so I cannot give you guys the absolute answer but this video will give you more about how wait, sorry what we learned in year two semester one in research track so for techniques in molecular biology it is specific for the research track so <clears throat> In this, we have learned about more specifically on the DNA, RNA, and then the protein. So we learn about how to purify the DNA, how to elude the DNA, yes, is the part of purification as well. And then PCR, like how to amplify the DNA pieces, and then uh, protein purification. So it's more about DNA, RNA, and then the protein. So we also uh, like, transform the DNA into the bacteria or the mammalian cell. So, mm, yeah, so these are the basic knowledge related to the uh, research track. So it's quite interesting and you also need the foundation of your molecular cell biology knowledge uh, so you can understand easier, yeah. Mm, for techniques in molecular biology, the exam is more the application based. So you really need to understand the concept in order to answer the uh, answer the questions more effectively. But the teachers are really nice and they can explain very well. So you don't have to much worry about it. And then uh, I remember on the first day of school because my Monday module is techniques in molecular biology. So it is my first day of year two semester one and then I remember the teacher told us right uh, in year two you uh, B is a good grade uh, and then if you get a B you don't have to be upset but uh, as I mentioned in my GPA video earlier one B or two B is very helpful to our GPA so yeah I was very very worried but you know uh, just finished my I, I don't know my, what is my ESE result yet but based on my daily grades and then the MSA I would say that you just have to pay attention class participation and then understand the concept will help you in your daily grade as well as your MSA exam so I wouldn't talk about ESE yet because the results are like uh, I need to wait for another three weeks and I'm really excited about it so moving on to the anatomy and physiology. As I mentioned earlier, it is like year one module, but it they change it to the year two semester one. So uh, it's uh, quite similar to your O-level biology. Uh, although I'm not from O-level track, I'm just from my high school. But I would say, yeah, uh, it's like quite simple. And they just learn about system by system, like digestive system, circulatory system, lymphatic system, and the skeletal system. It's not that hard. And you don't have to memorize the specific name of the muscles and then the nerves. So it makes like very, very easy. <laughs> yeah, imagine you have to memorize all the muscles and then the nerves as medical students. Uh, um, yeah, so it will be very, very challenging. That is what we have to do. If you are a participant in anatomy challenge, then you have to memorize all of these things. Uh, although it is challenging, I will say that uh, it makes you understand deeper about the human bodies. And yeah, you will love it if you, yeah, just uh, if you get a chance to participate in anatomy challenge, just go ahead. Uh, I really encourage you guys to do so. Mm, and for anatomy, the grading, yeah, I would say it's quite okay. And yes, it's like RP is all application based. So you have to know how to apply your knowledge related to the module in the exam. So for immunology, so for immunology, so it's about immune system, right? So we learn about how the microbes come into our body and then how the um, neutrophage, microphage, basically all the blue BCs, how they fight. So the test for the immunology is, uh, you like lesson one to the thing are linked. So you really need to understand. The foundation will be from lesson one to lesson six. Yeah, lesson six. So if you understand lesson one to six, then lesson seven, 11, 12, 13 will be very, very much easier for you. So for immunology, the recommendation is like, you have to draw the mind maps to see how the microbes, sorry, how the microbes being attacked. 
yeah, by our immune cells. So, um, I think it is important when it comes to vaccines. So, it's a good knowledge you have if you are going to pursue this biomedical science healthcare field. Yes. So next will be genetic. So for genetic, you need to have the background knowledge about meiosis and meiosis that you have learned in year one semester one. So for first half of semester, the genetic is mostly based on the cross. So like parents, parents cross, then F1, F1, F1 cross, and then F2. Then you have to decide whether the offspring will have the uh, disease or not, and then there are probability of having the diseases. So for second half of the semester, we learn about the chromosome abnormalities and how to write their nomenclature. So um, it's quite interesting and it's a good knowledge that you have. Um, for exam-wise, uh, genetic will be the most challenging one for me. Yeah, actually it is quite easy, but you have to think because there is a probability uh, is most likely uh, like it's like a math mathematics. So if you are correct, then you will get a full mark. If you are not incorrect, then you will get a zero or something like that. So you have to think and answer correctly. And yeah, that's all I can give advice on genetics. Uh, next will be the last one will be the medical microbiology. It is mostly most likely the medical technology track. Uh, yes, but I'm also interested in this module as well. Uh, it's about like after learning this module, you will know how to interpret the result because we learn about how the agar plate different agar plates, and then the possible microbes that can cause the disease, and then how you gonna test them like catalyst, test, coagulase test, uh, uh, urease test. Yeah. So, and then uh, we also learn about antimicrobial susceptibility test so you will see whether the bacteria is resistant to the, your antibiotics or not um, and then we also learn about virus different mechanisms so after learning this module you will know how to interpret the results by just looking at the agar play or the your test kit something like that so this is quite interesting but this module i will say the content wise is the heaviest module for me. Uh, it's like everything you have to know. Although the exam is open book, but you have to know where to find that. So for this module, I suggest you guys to do the table or whatever. Like for example, uh, you do the mini dose or eager, and then if the color change, pink or yellow, then how you interpret. So you should do the table. And then so in exam, you can do control F and find out. For me, I never do any table. So for my exam preparation, I just print out all six pieces. Uh, so the paper are quite thick. And then, yeah, although some people have the control F because all their notes are in the laptop, but I never write notes because personally, I feel it is waste of my time. And then I don't have much time to write notes. So I just, prefer to use the CSPs and then understand the concept rather than writing down everything in my notes. Yeah, so I just bring out all CSPs. So in the exam, I don't have control F. I just have to flip the paper. And but uh, I also spend much time to understand the concept as well. So I would say it would be useful. Uh, if you are a person also like to have the notes in your laptop, just go ahead, it's just a personal preference. Okay, that's all for year two, semester one. I hope you guys get the idea of like how biomedical science like in year two. I would say year two, someone, because so far I'm just year two, semester one, I would say this semester is the tough semester. And senior say year two, semester two will be worse. Mm, so I'm also looking forward to that because the knowledge I gained from this module, these modules are quite interesting and I believe that this will help me in the future career as well. So I just encourage you guys to study smarter and then also learn the concept uh, in these years. And then for those who are 
um, thinking of applying the biomedical science I hope this video will help you know how the biomedical science and what you guys learn in this course so bye bye see you again in next video for next video topic I haven't taught so I cannot say anything now and if you have any question just drop me a message in Facebook page and also can comment down in YouTube video and I wouldn't reply in my personal account because I really check the request messages so just drop me a message in page or the draw a comment here so bye bye see you again in next video and remember to like and subscribe my channel bye bye